Hello, my name is Sharon Haig and I am the head of Pearson's UK Schools Organisation, which includes running our edXL qualifications. I want to take this opportunity to send a message to all students, teachers and parents this exam season to reassure you on the steps we have taken to safeguard our exams and ensure fairness. Security is of paramount importance to us and we continually review our security procedures to ensure that they are rigorous. However, we are all reliant on the collaboration and trust of everyone involved in the exam system. And when someone commits malpractice, they let everyone down. Unfortunately, we have found that one centre committed a serious security breach of our A-level maths exam last Friday. We have informed the police and have asked them to investigate this as a criminal matter. As a parent, I understand that you will be worried more than anything about what this will mean for students' results. Before the exam, two questions from the paper were circulating on social media. The questions were heavily blacked out, but I can understand that you may be concerned about this. Once the marking is complete, we do have the option of removing these two questions from the final calculation of the grade if we think that is the right course of action. You may also be concerned about how many students had access to the full version of the paper before the exam. We are completing a thorough investigation but have no evidence at this point that it was widely shared. I want to reassure you that we have established processes in place to ensure fair and accurate results and so no one will be unfairly disadvantaged. As part of the marking process, we will analyse individual student performance as well as that of groups of students. From this analysis, we will be able to identify whether there are patterns in the results that are unusual for either a particular school or college or students. For those individuals that have been found to have been involved in malpractice, we will follow the JCQ guidance, which can include withholding results for individual students. As a precautionary measure, we have taken the decision to replace the A-level further maths exam paper due to take place later this week. But don't worry, you can just go ahead and prepare for the exam as normal. Students don't need to take any special action. We will work closely with the examinations officer at your school on the next steps. Separately, I also understand that some students are concerned about the difficulty level of the second maths paper. It's really important to understand that we set the grade boundaries for each paper every year. This ensures a level playing field and means that if an individual paper is more challenging in any given year, students will never be disadvantaged. Once the marking is completed, we will be looking at student scripts and statistical data to help us understand whether you have found this paper more or less demanding than previous years. And so we can then make a decision about where best to set the final grade boundaries. This helps ensure that a candidate who would have achieved an A, for example, in last year's paper, would achieve an A in this year's paper. The principle of fairness guides absolutely everything we do. I hope this helps reassure you and I'd like to wish you all the very best of luck with any remaining exams that you may have. Thank you.